<laughs> oh, by the way, just in time for the Major League Baseball yes. playoffs, we get a blockbuster trade in the NBA. All right. Is yeah. Giannis going to be happy with this? Oh, 100%. No guarantees, but 100%. Damian Lillard to the Bucks. That brings to an end his 11-year run in Portland and the drama surrounding his trade request, which started back in July. This deal is complicated, almost as complicated as his relationship in the end became with the Blazers. So follow along with this one. Lillard will now play alongside Giannis, but the Bucks are sending Drew Holiday to Portland along with a first-round pick and a pair of first-round pick swaps. Then DeAndre Ayton is also heading to the Blazers because this trade is Bucks Blazers with the side of the Suns. Phoenix is getting Yusuf Nurkic, Grayson Allen, Nasir Little, and Keon Johnson. We get Adrian Wojnarowski because this is the end of what a, a six months long saga over how he was going to end his time in Portland and where he was going to end up. So let's just start there. How did Damian Lillard end up in Milwaukee? And Nicole, these talks between Milwaukee and Portland really started to escalate over the weekend. And I think along the way, Milwaukee wanted to be very careful uh, that they were not shopping Drew Holiday, that they were not in a position where uh, that it was going to get out, that they were really heavily involved in case they didn't get this deal done. And essentially, over the weekend when Portland you know, started to get the idea that the deal for them was with the Bucks. And they had the Suns as an ancillary team uh, to do that. DeAndre Ayton, Yusuf Nurkic, uh, part of this trade because they had wanted they had wanted Ayton all along. Uh, the conversation picked up between Portland and Milwaukee, and I think when both teams went to bed last night, uh, they believed they were going to consummate a deal today. They brought Phoenix into it at the very end, and this blockbuster trade mm -hmm. was born. Damian Lillard joins up with Giannis Attentacupo. Okay, so now we have Drew Holiday officially to Portland, but let's be honest, like what is actually next for Holiday? Uh, Portland's already, the, the moment we reported this trade today, their phone started ringing from teams uh, about Drew Holiday trades. And I think Portland's in a position where because they've talked to so many teams uh, through the last few months about Damian Lillard, they know, uh, they, they had a sense of what the market would be for uh, Drew Holiday and teams who didn't get Damian Lillard. Now, uh, certainly many of them are going to be in pursuit and are in pursuit uh, of Holiday, who, you know, has shown himself to be one of the best two-way guards in the NBA. He's got a year left on his deal. And so anybody who trades for him, you would expect they would want to do, uh, commit to an extension with him, you know, perhaps next year, but certainly know that they're not going to give up those assets to just keep him uh, as a rental for one year. But tremendous market. Uh, for Drew Holiday and Portland can take its time now and see that how that develops. But certainly uh, the contenders in the East, the West, uh, there's not a team that wouldn't love uh, who's trying to win big is not a, that's not inquiring about Drew Holiday and what it's going to take to get him. So when you put all that together, you know, we are still yet to see what Portland's final return for Damian Lillard is. I think, but it's going to be significant uh, once they finish up uh, and reroute Holiday to a new team. Okay, so that is the next shoe to drop in all of this. Uh, Adrian, thank you. We'll first get to see this new look Bucks team, their first preseason game. That's October the 8th. They don't open up the regular season, though, until October 26th. That game is against the Sixers. Again, Woj with all of the latest on this. Now, obviously, we know how Lillard feels because of social media. That's where all things all shared. things. All things. Now, he said the casuals won't be addressed, but the Trailblazers fans in the city of Portland that I truly love will be, and they will be addressed truthfully. Stay tuned. Excited for my next chapter. Okay, so um, we will be addressing what the Bucks are getting. They're getting a player who last season scored just north of 32 points per game. That is the most in Trailblazers history and the most by a player to start the next season on a new team. Now the Bucks had the best record last season and they've now added an all NBA player in Lillard. The last time that happened was the Warriors who added Kevin Durant. So what happened that season in Golden State? They won a title. No big deal. Lillard has missed the playoffs in each of his last two seasons, and he has never made it beyond the conference finals. Lillard's 19,376 career points are the second most by any active player without a finals appearance. He is behind only DeMar DeRozan. So how does this move that Vegas needles? Caesars, well, they like it.
Bucks to make the finals and win it all. Before this trade, the Bucks had the fourth shortest odds behind the Nuggets, the Celtics, and the Suns.